Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to look at part 2 of playing the Scotch Gambit, and mostly we're going to look at the Bishop C5 line, but before we get into that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more great opening videos. So, once again, Scotch Gambit starts out with D4, take, Bishop C4, and now we're going to look at Bishop C5. So here we're going to go ahead and gambit another pawn um, and go C3. Now if he takes on C3, we have this nice tactic, Bishop takes F7, King takes, and now Queen check. Really watch out for this bishop on c5. It's going to be hanging all the time, so look for these kind of tactics. Um, maybe not in this move order, but they're always going to kind of be there. So here, king e8, and actually now we take a little bit. Queen h5 check. Make him play g6, and now take on c5. Now you're going to see this rook gets a little bit vulnerable, and the dark squares on this diagonal are also weak. So we're very, very happy um, if he pushes g6. Um, so that's what's going to happen if they take on c3 and they're too greedy. Now next we're going to look at knight f6, another very main variation. So here, kind of like in the last video, we're going to go e5 once again. Just attack that knight, don't give it somewhere to go. Um, now normally they go d5, so here we go bishop e5, knight e4, and now take on d4. Um, so you're going to see bishop e4 check, bishop b6 is also a move, um, and we're basically going to treat it the same way. Bishop e4 check, knight d2, um, if bishop g4, early bishop g4, we go queen a4. Basically, we're always going to combat this bishop um, g4 move with queen a4. Because um, now if he takes on d2, we can play knight takes, avoiding those double pawns. Um, if he takes everything, we can go into this position, bishop d7, queen a3, stop him from castling. Um, and here, even though we have opposite color bishops, you're going to see you have a little bit more initiative for white, um, and it's going to be a lot easier to play. Um, now, if he holds off on bishop g4 and castles first, we castle bishop g4, and now once again, queen a4, basically getting ready to take on d2 this way. Um, and here we're happy. We have the bishop pair. We have space. Um, if something like this, we can just take. Um, and now we're going to have play with this f5, f6, or e6 move, um, or ideas. So that's what we're going to do if we see this bishop g4 move. Um, and that's going to happen after knight f6, e5, d5, like here. e5, d5, bishop b5. Knight e4, take, and then just we have our knight d2, castle, queen a4, ATS. So that's what we're going to do if knight f6. Now instead of knight f6, if d6, we get to take on d4, bishop e4 check, and go knight c3. And in this position, we just have a nice center. Uh, we're going to have very easy development, castle. If knight takes e4, we punish him um, with here, and knight g3, and he's going to get caught in the middle. We have this queen a4 idea. Um, Instead of knight takes e4, bishop takes c3, once again trying to be greedy. We're going to go like this, and now go bishop a3. Punish him for keeping his pieces in the middle too long. Um, something like this, and it's going to be very, very uncomfortable for um, black to play. You're going to see a lot of tactics, a lot of nice sacks, all that kind of stuff there. Um, and lastly, if he just tries to castle here, we go bishop g5, and now we just kind of have everything we could want. This position, we have knight d5 ideas coming. Um, this pin is super annoying for him. If he takes here, he gives it the bishop pair. And if they do something like this, don't be scared to sacrifice this this piece. So here, here, we have queen f3, we have e5, and this king is going to be battered very, very, very soon. Even f4, e5 is another idea. Um, so that's what we're going to do if he gives us bishop g5. Um, and lastly, instead of d6, if we see d3, um, the other way of kind of not taking the pawn, we go b4, bishop b6, a4 here. Um, if a5, pawn push, castle, then you're going to see we have very nice prospects this way. Um, here, if a6, once again, castle, knight f6, don't let him um, get out free. Something like this is very playable. Um, if d6, queen b3, then you're going to see it's going to get very, very messy for, for black. Um, you can see that white has a lot of pressure, um, very comfortable to play. Um, even though you're down a pawn, it doesn't feel like that. And your pieces are, give you more than enough compensation for that pawn. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and hope you guys were entertained.